Welcome to an introduction to managerial accounting brought to you by Parkbench Tutors and narrated by David Hopcroft. For more information about Parkbench Tutors, please visit parkbenchtutors.com. In this podcast, we continue the process of budget planning. If you have not already watched the first podcast on budget planning, then you might find it helpful to do so now. In this podcast, we continue the process of building the budget by putting together a cash budget and producing a budget balance sheet. The purpose of constructing the cash budget is to ensure that Tropical Tents will have sufficient funds available to meet any payments required in each quarter, and to look at the balance in the current account, since Tropical Tents may wish to invest any large surplus of income. Most companies will make sales on credit, and for the purpose of constructing this cash budget we are using data from the previous year that suggests that 55% of customers will make payments for sales in the same quarter that they make the purchase, and the remaining 45% of revenue from sales is collected in the following quarter. In the first quarter, the first figure to be entered is the amount of revenue expected from the previous year. We can determine this by looking at the number of sales made in the last quarter of the previous year. If we multiply these sales by the sale price per unit and then take 45% of this figure, then we have an estimate for revenue to be received from this period. Last year, the sales in quarter 4 were 3,800, producing a revenue of $1,045,000. We need 45% of this figure. This gives us a figure of $427,500, which we enter to our cash budget. The next figure we look at is the figure for sales revenue in the first quarter. The total expected revenue for this quarter is $1,100,000. This total needs to be split and we place 55% of the total, which is $605,000, into quarter 1, and the remainder of $495,000 into quarter 2. We follow the same procedure for the remaining quarters, taking 55% of revenue in the quarter when the sale is made, and 45% in the following quarter. We now have our completed budget for cash receipts. We add the receipts to give the total of cash receipts for the year. We apply a similar treatment to the purchase of materials. In this case, Tropical Tents has determined that 65% of payments for purchases are made in the same quarter that purchases are made, and 35% are paid in the quarter that follows the purchase. We start by looking at the budget for the purchase of direct materials. We have highlighted the figures that we shall be using. These figures are now entered to the cash budget, having made the split of 65% for the current quarter and 35% of payments for the following quarter. The annual total has also been entered. Our next step will be to add the direct labour costs. These figures are taken from the direct labour budget. They have been highlighted here. The figures are entered directly onto the cash budget sheet. The cash payments for overhead are entered. These payments have been highlighted from the Manufacturing Overhead Budget Sheet. We have highlighted these figures again to show the entry made to the cash budget. The last budget we prepared was for selling and administrative expenses, so we now need to add these to the cash budget. The figures are taken from the sales and administrative budget and are shown here highlighted. They are shown highlighted again on their entry to the cash budget. 
The total payment for each quarter and for the year are now calculated and entered. We subtract the total payments for each quarter from the total revenue for each quarter and enter the result. Tropical Tents had a starting balance of $40,000, so the ending cash balance for the first quarter is $14,074. This will become the starting balance for the second quarter. We continue to make calculations in this way and then we have a completed cash budget. Finally we will produce the budget balance sheet. Starting with the cash budget that we have just prepared we take the ending cash balance. This will be the figure that we shall enter as cash under current assets. The next current asset will be accounts receivable. This means we need to know how much cash the business is owed at the end of quarter 4. The total sales revenue for quarter 4 is $1,045,000. Of that total we said that 55% was collected in the quarter, leaving 45% to be collected in the following quarter. That figure of 45%, which is $470,250, will be the figure we enter into accounts receivable. There are two figures that we are going to need for current assets. They are concerned with inventory. The first is the value of parts to make tents. This can be obtained from the ending inventory of the direct materials budget. We have highlighted the figure here. It is $33,019. We enter the figure into the balance sheet as the figure for the parts inventory. The finished goods inventory is taken from the production budget. The ending inventory of 450 tents is valued at $250 per tent. This gives a figure of $100,000 as the finished goods inventory. Using the cash budget we had a figure for making 65% of payments for direct materials in the fourth quarter. That left 35% unpaid a figure of $109,505. That figure becomes the amount that we enter for accounts payable on the balance sheet. Finally, figures for the asset of plant property and equipment, and then figures for common stock and retained earnings are entered. These were not calculated from budgets, though the retained earnings figure would be affected by the budget. This ends our second podcast on making a budget, brought to you by Parkbench Tutors and narrated by David Hopcroft. Thank you for watching and for listening. We wish you success in your studies. For more information about Parkbench Tutors, please visit parkbenchtutors.com.